Hey guys, it's the Coaster Battleman here, bringing you King's Island's Roller Coasters ranked from worst to best. Number 14 is the Great Pumpkin Coaster. It's pretty small, so it's not really worth getting the credit on it. But if you have a smaller child in your party, then I would recommend this coaster. At number 13 is Woodstock Express. This coaster has been at King's Island since King's Island opened. And it's a pretty nice, smaller, classic family wooden coaster, but the trains are pretty small. At number 12 is Flying Ace Aerial Chase. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. It's an okay coaster. I don't know why it's hated so much by enthusiasts, but it's, it's an okay coaster for the kids, so eh, it's not that bad. Number 11 is Racer. This is Kings Island's other OG coaster. It's a classic, and it's pretty decent when dueling, but can be pretty rough at times. And it's not nearly as fun unless you're dueling. Number 10 is Flight of Fear. I hate this coaster more than any other coaster at Kings Island, mainly because of the restraint system being so bad, despite the pretty decent launch, which even with the bad restraints, is pretty good. Despite parts of this coaster being pretty rough, I will take this coaster over the previous coasters because of its pretty cool theming and the giant UFO in the queue line. Nine is in Vertigo. This coaster is kind of inconsistent as you never know what type of ride you're going to get out of it, especially if you're in different rows each time you ride. And it's a decent ride at what it does, but nothing really stands out other than the intensity of the coaster, especially in the vertical loop. Number eight is Adventure Express. This coaster is a very solid mine train, and despite its poor ending right after that really well-themed lift hill, this coaster is a very fun family coaster experience, and it's just a very solid ride at Kings Island. Number seven is The Bat. This is a very fun and intense aerodynamic suspended coaster, by far better than Iron Dragon at Cedar Point, but it has a pretty short ride time. A retired coaster on this list that I would put in between the bat and the next coaster on this list is Vortex, the aerodynamics custom looping coaster featured six inversions, and overall it was a pretty cool coaster. I liked the layout. Transitions weren't the best especially compared to modern coasters, but a true classic indeed. Number six is Backlot Stunt Coaster. This is the best family coaster at Kings Island, and it has a very fun launch and intense helix at the start of the coaster. And even though its layout is kind of smaller compared to a lot of coasters at Kings Island, it's still a very fun ride, and it has by far the best theming on any coaster in the park. The next retired coaster on this list is Firehawk. This was by far the best Vekoma Flying Dutchman I ever rode out of the three. It was pretty smooth, the inversions were fun, and the color scheme was pretty solid as well. It is kind of sad to see that it got removed, but Orion was a very nice replacement for it. At number five is Mystic Timbers. This coaster really solidified Kings Island's wooden coaster lineup. It's a very intense terrain-based wooden coaster. It has a ton of airtime hills, but they don't have the best airtime due to the restraint system. But if you can get airtime on them, it's pretty awesome. It's a very well-rounded GCI woody, and the shed is a pretty interesting feature. Number four is Banshee. This is a very unique B&M invert, not only because it has vest restraints like the B&M wing coasters and Val Raven, but also it has a very drawn out layout compared to all the other inverts, which are known for having very compact layouts. Also, it has a pretty cool theme present as it pays tribute to old Kings Island attractions, and it has a pretty cool looking station. Number three is the Beast. This coaster is an absolute legend. It has a phenomenal night ride. It uses the terrain to its advantage, and it has a five minute ride time. This coaster may not have the strongest layout in the world, but it is just an absolute adventure as you fly at high speeds through the terrain. 
At number two is Orion. This is a very picturesque giga coaster and it has a very unique layout. It has very good turns and airtime hills. And I would say the only weakness of this coaster is the ride time. This coaster is a lot shorter than its other Cedar Fair counterparts, with the exception of Leviathan. At number one is Diamondback. This coaster is by far the best coaster at Kings Island, in my opinion. This coaster features tons of airtime with some twists in the layout as well. It's not like a Raging Bull with, where it's so radically twisty, but I would put it more into the same boat as Mako, where there are some really solid twists in there, but it's a very airtime-based ride. It's very smooth, very long, and the water splashdown is a very nice feature. That was my list of the King's Island roller coasters, ranked from worst to best. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.